Welcome back to Bonneville Garage. So we got a lot done the last few days. One of the big things we got done was the oil cooler support and the transmission support for the coolers. Hi, my name's Lorelai. I am going into my senior year here at Bonneville. And today I was with Mr. Arndt. We were working on the transmission and oil coolers and mounting them. And we took two angle iron pieces and mounted them across the frame from here and here. And then we got four smaller pieces and mounted it here and here. So that way we could lay these on this. And we picked a specific angle because as you're driving, the air goes this way and it will naturally cool them off. So we had to weld that up and we welded it in place with the tack welds. And then we pulled it out, did the full weld, got it all painted, it's set up, and we got the cooler sitting in place, and it just looks sweet. I'm making some mounts for our radiator right now. Um, there's no mounts in the shroud for this radiator. So we had to make some, and we're gonna bolt onto here, and then we're gonna drill a hole through our shroud so we can bolt it on. So we also had Kobe's little brackets that we made for the radiator. We finally were able to secure the radiator completely in and use those little brackets that we made out of aluminum license plates, which is just the best little fabrication material you can get around the shop. Today we also had Monica running the hot water hoses from the engine block back to the hot water system in the RV, which is a great source of hot water so that we're not having to heat the water because it's already done by the engine as you travel. My name is Monica Hernandez and I'm the automotive president at Bonneville Garage. Working, working on the RV during the summer is fun because you get more one-on-one -on -one learning with the people that are teaching you like Jim and Art and, and then you can ask a bunch of questions which I've been learning so much and it's really cool to see like the RV progress and get new things so. Yeah, it's been really fun. Okay, so the AC system has been one of the biggest fights that we've had with this thing, just out of space. So those that are looking to put them in the hot rods, make sure you plan out your space, as we had uh, working on ours. So we built this bracket with cardboard. Then we built it with a piece of aluminum, and now we have the full bent piece shaped up, bolted in, and it's holding the old air product system in place. Now we're just heading up the uh, hot water system that was connected up that Monica did. As we're working on Road Force One, we're doing a couple interior things. One was we're prepping the location for the propane. And the reason why I chose white is so that way it can quickly show if, if there is any fatigue or metal separation. This is also why you generally see a lot of your roll cages on vehicles in a bright color so that way you can see if the metal is cracking. So as we put the propane in, we'll be able to see things really easily. So here at Bonneville Garage, summer's coming to a close, but also what's coming close is completion of this RV. We are getting so close. We're seeing the finish line and we're gonna get this thing ready and rolling before the summer's out. And we'll be right back with more At Your Leisure.